I'm Jeff Notkin, meteorite hunter, meteorite specialist, half of television's meteorite men, and I'm here to tell you about some of my favorite items in the upcoming Heritage July 22nd auction of the Jeff Notkin collection of meteorites, part two. I'm holding a slice of one of the most famous and most studied meteorites in the history of the field. It's called Allende, and it fell in Chihuahua in 1969. And it's a very unusual type of meteorite, a carbonaceous chondrite. It's described as being very old or ancient. All meteorites are old. It means that its makeup represents a very early period in our solar system. And up until the time of this fall, there were very few carbonaceous chondrites available for study. Now, Dr. Albert King, who was a NASA scientist who went on to design the Lunar Receiving Lab for NASA, heard about the fall and rushed to the fall site and recovered many pieces, which he then traded with meteorite scientists around the world, which is why Allende is so widely studied. Now, here's the really interesting part. Allende contains carbon, amino acids, and some water, and it's thought likely that meteorites similar to Allende may have been responsible for bringing materials to Earth in the distant past that were responsible for the origin of simple life. But here's the part that will really blow your mind. In this meteorite are micro diamonds, which are not part of our solar system. They are believed to be remnants of a supernova that may be as much as 12 billion years old. So a sun in another solar system exploded, formed these tiny diamonds that drifted through space, and they got caught in the solar nebula as our own solar system was forming. So within this meteorite are the oldest things that any human has ever touched. From a time and place so distant, it's almost impossible to comprehend and seems to almost put Allende into the world of science fiction but I promise you it's the real thing. 